Have you ever wondered how it feels to be a pawn in a narcissist's game of manipulation? Well, let's delve into the intriguing world of narcissism. Narcissism, a term derived from the Greek myth of Narcissus, is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance and a deep need for excessive attention and admiration. But beyond this grandiose facade lies a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to even the slightest criticism. Now imagine being the scapegoat in this scenario. The scapegoat, quite literally, is someone who bears the blame for others. In the realm of narcissism, these are individuals who are manipulated and exploited to serve the narcissist's needs. They are often oblivious to their role, trapped in a twisted dance of manipulation. This is a world where emotions are currency and empathy is a foreign concept. The narcissist's game is a complex one, filled with manipulation and deceit, and their pawns often find themselves trapped in a web of confusion and pain. To understand the depth of this issue, consider the story of Sarah, a woman who found herself ensnared in a narcissist's game. Sarah was a vibrant, independent woman with a zest for life. When she met John, she was immediately captivated by his charm and charisma. In the beginning, their relationship was like a whirlwind romance. However, as time wore on, she began to notice a pattern of manipulation and control. John had a knack for twisting situations to make it appear as though Sarah was always at fault. When they argued, he would deflect blame onto her, making her feel guilty for things she hadn't done. This was a classic narcissistic tactic, using Sarah as a scapegoat to avoid taking responsibility for his own actions. But it didn't stop there. John would often belittle Sarah, making her feel insignificant and worthless. He was incredibly skilled at gaslighting, a manipulation tactic where he would make Sarah question her own thoughts and perceptions. Eventually, this constant belittling and gaslighting began to take a toll on Sarah's mental and emotional health. She started doubting herself, her confidence shattered, and she felt like she was walking on eggshells, constantly afraid of displeasing John. The emotional impact on Sarah was devastating. She found herself in a constant state of anxiety and depression, feeling isolated and trapped. Sarah was living in a world where she was the perpetual villain, bearing the brunt of John's narcissistic rage, while he remained the untouchable hero. This is the grim reality of being a narcissist's scapegoat. The narcissist, like John, uses their scapegoat as a means to project their own insecurities and faults onto someone else, enabling them to maintain their grandiose self-image and avoid accountability. Sarah's story is a haunting reminder of the damage a narcissist can inflict on their scapegoats. This is not just about Sarah and John, but countless others who find themselves entangled in the narcissist's web of manipulation and deceit, bearing the brunt of their pathology. Narcissists have a playbook, a set of strategies they use to manipulate and control their scapegoats. Now let's dive into some of the most common tactics in this playbook. First up is gaslighting. This is a psychological manipulation technique where the narcissist makes their scapegoat question their own memory, perception, or sanity. They might deny that certain events ever happened or insist that the scapegoat is misremembering the goal to destabilize the scapegoat and make them doubt their own judgment. In this way, the narcissist asserts control and creates an environment where they can easily manipulate their scapegoat's reality. Next, we have projection. This is when the narcissist accuses their scapegoat of the very things they themselves are doing. For instance, if they're being deceitful, they might accuse the scapegoat of being a liar. Projection serves two purposes for the narcissist. It diverts attention away from their own actions and onto the scapegoat, and it also helps them to avoid taking responsibility for their own behavior. Finally, there's guilt tripping. The narcissist uses guilt as a tool to manipulate their scapegoat into doing what they want. They might play the victim, making the scapegoat feel responsible for their happiness or well-being. Or they might use emotional blackmail, threatening to harm themselves or others if the scapegoat doesn't comply. These tactics, gaslighting, projection, guilt tripping, share a common goal, to serve the narcissist's need for control and self-preservation. By making their scapegoat question their own reality, by shifting blame onto the scapegoat, and by using guilt to manipulate, the narcissist maintains their power and protects their fragile ego. But knowledge is power, and understanding these tactics is the first step towards breaking free from the narcissist's grip. By recognizing these strategies for what they are, manipulation techniques, scapegoats can begin to dismantle the hold that the narcissist has over them. Understanding these tactics is a crucial first step in dismantling the narcissist's hold over their scapegoats. 
Narcissism isn't confined to personal relationships. Let's take a look at John's experience with a narcissistic boss. John is a dedicated professional with a promising future. But his professional journey took a detour when he started working under a boss who exhibited classic narcissistic traits. This boss, let's call him Mr. X, was charismatic and influential. Yet beneath that charm was a manipulative personality that thrived on power and control. Mr. X had a knack for turning the workplace into his own personal stage. He demanded constant admiration, belittled others to elevate himself, and never accepted responsibility for his mistakes. Instead, he found his scapegoat in John. John was an easy target. He was diligent, conscientious, and eager to please. Traits that Mr. X exploited to the hilt. Whenever a project went south or a deadline was missed, Mr. X would lay the blame squarely on John's shoulders. And John, in his earnestness to do well, would accept the blame, believing that he could and should do better. This blame game took a heavy emotional toll on John. He started doubting his capabilities. His confidence took a hit, and he lived in constant fear of making mistakes. But it didn't stop there. The professional consequences were equally severe. His reputation suffered, his career progression stalled, and his relationships with his colleagues were strained. But the thing about narcissists is that they are masters of deception. They can paint a picture so convincing that others often fail to see their true colors. So, while John was struggling, Mr. X continued to bask in the adulation of his peers, seemingly untouched by the chaos he was causing. John's story isn't unique. Many of us have come across a Mr. X in our professional lives, but it's important to remember that while a narcissist's actions can be deeply damaging, they are a reflection of their insecurities and not your worth. John's story underscores the pervasive nature of narcissism and the profound impact it can have in all areas of life. So how does one resist the narcissist's manipulation and reclaim their autonomy? This is a question that has perplexed many, but fear not, because there are strategies to help you regain control. Firstly, setting boundaries is crucial. This means asserting your rights and needs, and sticking to them, no matter how much the narcissist tries to cross those lines. It's important to remember that your time, your emotions, and your well-being are yours alone, and you have every right to protect them. However, setting boundaries is not always easy. It requires courage, determination, and most importantly, consistency. So be prepared for some resistance, but don't let it deter you. Persistence is key. Secondly, seeking support can be a lifeline. This could be from friends, family, or professional therapists. People who understand what you're going through can provide invaluable advice, encouragement, and reassurance. They can help you see the reality of the situation, rather than the distorted version presented by the narcissist. But remember, not everyone will understand your struggle. Narcissists are often skilled at maintaining a charming public persona, so don't be disheartened if some people don't see what you see. Seek out those who do, and cherish their support. Thirdly, practicing self-care is essential. This means taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional health. Engage in activities that make you feel good about yourself, that help you relax and recharge. This could be anything from going for a run, reading a good book, or simply spending some quiet time alone. And finally, recognizing the signs of narcissistic behavior is of paramount importance. Knowledge is power, after all. The more you understand about narcissism, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself from its harmful effects. So remember, you are not powerless. You can resist the narcissist's manipulation and reclaim your autonomy. Empowerment begins with knowledge and self-awareness, the first steps towards breaking free from the narcissist's control. The journey of a narcissist's scapegoat is a challenging one, filled with manipulation and emotional turmoil. It's a psychological game where the scapegoat is often made to feel inadequate and insignificant. This is the reality for many who find themselves tangled in the web of a narcissist's manipulation. The intriguing world of narcissism, as we've explored, is complex and often hidden beneath layers of charm and charisma. Yet, beneath the surface, there's a pattern of behavior that can be traced, understood, and combated. We've delved into real-life case studies revealing the common tactics used by narcissists and discussed the workplace narcissist, a unique and troubling phenomenon. Importantly, we've also covered strategies for resistance, tools you can use to identify, understand, and resist the manipulative tactics of the narcissist. Remember, knowledge is power, and with these insights, you can begin to reclaim control from the narcissist's manipulative grasp.